Hey everybody over at Movies.com, it is the Schmoes No Movie Show, I'm Christian. And I am Mark. Christian, this weekend in theaters you have Night at the Museum Part 3. Who would have thought we'd get three of these babies? Well, it's Ben Stiller, so I probably thought so, because the guy just likes to milk it and milk it and milk it, but... He makes a lot of money. He has made a lot of money, he's made some good movies, I'm not the biggest fan, but out of this list, there's some pretty good ones you in there. shouldn't let you talk about this up top, because I think Ben Stiller is great. Now look, I'm going to throw this at you too, we're going to do the top five Ben Stiller films of all time. This is not going to include his appearances in such films as Happy Gilmore, where right. he was hysterical, or The Cable Guy, where he had a bit part, and he directed, directed that right. movie, yeah. These are going to be movies that he starred in, and we got some really funny ones. Christian number five is going to be Zoolander. Okay. Why? There's okay. Four, so there's four okay. movies in here that I like. Okay. Zoolander's hysterical, I but to appease my buddy here, we're going to go with Dodgeball, based Dodgeball. on a true story. Dodgeball I can get behind because they had, this was, he plays a really ridiculous character that he does. It was a typical Ben Stiller character over the top with a stupid mustache, but it was his back and forth that he had with his team, and he and Vince Vaughn had a nice kind of camaraderie, so it, it's it's entertaining. And Jason Bateman really came to, back to play. Jason Bateman's hysterical in this movie, and Rip Torn as the coach, yeah. right? Yeah. Come on, man. It's not based on a true story, it's a real underdog story. Right. Almost the same thing. Number four, you talked about something that he directed that he didn't make the cut. Well, this one did make the cut. Tropic Thunder. I love this movie. Ah, there you. we I, go. I love the win. I was on TV recently and I watched it again. He did a great job directing. And I know everyone says, well, it was because of Downey. He directed Downey. I mean, yes, Downey added a lot of stuff, but you got to give it to Stiller. It was... I mean, there's some really ridiculous stuff happening. I, Tropic Thunder's pretty funny. The best part of the movie, to me, though, are the fake trailers at the beginning. Tom Cruise's performance oh, yeah. as Grossman. Uh, Matthew McConaughey is also in it for a minute. And Danny McBride is a demolitions expert. All outshine Ben Stiller and, and Robert Downey Jr. even to me. But I'm in the minority there. Well, if you don't know what it is, is that these four kind of prima donna actors get caught inside of a real set. A real war, really. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's insane. And it's funny. Go oh, check it out. Okay, nice sell. Uh, nice. At number three is going to be <laughs> Meet the Parents. That's now, this long. was the one that came out, and this was one of the things, kind of like Analyze This for Robert De Niro, where he he rediscovered his comedic side, and then he would go on to milk it too much in films like Meet the Fockers and Little Fockers, but for Meet the Parents individually, it's a very funny movie. But we're not talking about those jinxies. We're talking about this one, <laughs> and that was a great back and forth between both he and Ben Stiller. When Ben Stiller toned it down a bit and played more of the straight man who got into silly situations, he's more likable for me and this is one of those roles for sure. Yeah, you're an emotionally shallow animal. Much like a dog. True. What do you got number two? Number two is one of my favorite movies of all time. So you like so, all these movies, see? Uh, he's done hundreds of movies. I like four of them. <laughs> uh, then this is one of my favorite movies of all time and that is The Royal Tannenbaums. It is a Wes Anderson film. Gene Hackman, who uh, uh, cannot believe he was never nominated for this role, but Ben Stiller plays his son and has his kids with him who basically he's dressed like him and they're in jumpsuits. It's insane, it's great. Very funny addition of Bill Murray in there as is usually the case with Bill mm -hmm. Murray in a Wes Anderson film. Coming in number one, Christian though, there's no doubt about it. It was one of the hardest laughs I've ever had in a movie theater or at home. There's something about Mary. There sure is and that's why she continuously makes top comedy lists all the time and makes this top list. Like top comedy of all time we're talking one about. One of them, yeah, one of them for sure. Please. And you have Ben Stiller again playing it down a little bit more, but getting into insane situations and crazy situations and using that straight man, but he, he has a delivery when he's when he's doing this that yeah. really can be relatable, and yet his timing is just it, the, the, He's very funny and he's a little off-center, but he's straight man enough to let the right. Fairway Brothers direct their piece. And then you also have guys like Matt Dillon and Chris Elliott and Brett Favre, all very Favre. talented Favre. actors, and this movie is just, it, to, to this day, it holds up so well in Cameron Diaz. Oh my goodness. So pretty. Something about Mary. Well, there's something about her not being an Annie and being in this. Uh, so <laughs> that is our list. That's the top five list. That's Ben Stiller's list. And then Permanent Midnight is one that I really enjoyed. It was more of him being serious and not as kooky. Um, oh, and, there you go. Okay. And I'll throw also a Reality Bites in there. I know you also oh, like I liked that well. one a lot. I wish and, I uh, and then Zoolander too, I think is an honorable yeah. mention. Because even if you watch them like 10 minute doses, like a sketch, yeah. you, you can't. True. All right. That's our list. How about you guys? What's your top five? <laughs> uh, what do you think? What's, what's your impression of Ben Stiller? Are you more on his side, my side? And what do you think of our list? What's your list? Comment below and tell us what you think. A lot of questions, buddy. The interview is not until next week. Let's talk about the United Museum 3 comes out this weekend, as does Annie. So you got a lot of options at the movie theaters. Happy holidays, everybody. We'll talk to you around Christmas time, but just in case we don't, happy holidays. Happy holidays. <laughs>